Hello Stampers, Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from a very snowy Menasha, Wisconsin. And in case you can't tell, I'm feeling so much better, like 100%. So that was whatever I had. I think it was some type of virus. It really kicked my butt. Hi, Jamie. Welcome. I think you're the first one on here. Cindy, welcome. I just spent a little bit of time with Cindy. She is one of my friends from my hometown and also a team member. And uh, we got to talk about hunting a little bit. She was over yesterday and um, had to wait to leave because there were deer running everywhere. <laughs> yeah, it was quite the commotion yesterday. Um, and if you guys follow me on Facebook, I think you saw that I got stuck in the mud. Yeah. So that was fun. We had fun. It was a new memory, right? We're making memories out in the middle of nowhere. We actually drove down a logging trail. We were probably about two and a half miles in the woods and we went through the mud hole and got through it. It was rough. Like there's a big rock in it and I really had to floor it to get through it. <laughs> But then on the way back, we decided we needed to go around the side of it, and I didn't get over far enough, and I got stuck. So, yeah, my sisters and her um, husband came and pulled us out, so that was nice. <laughs> yeah. So anyways, how was your Thanksgiving, everybody? We had a good Thanksgiving. I was kind of sick. I was feeling maybe a little bit better by Thanksgiving, but I still ate a lot. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> My mom makes the best Thanksgiving. And then we get to have um, leftovers several times too. So that was really fun. And I went back up north Wednesday night. I waited for Haley to get done teaching school. And we rode together. And I'm so glad that we did because the drive home today was horrible. White knuckles. Like, oh. Most of the way we were driving 35, 40 miles an hour because the roads were so terrible. And every once in a while, the slush would like suck you over to the side. And we were like, oh! <laughs> yeah, you like the sound effects. <laughs> you can tell I'm feeling better, right? Because I'm like, yes, I'm back on my game. Yeah. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate all the well wishes that I got. You guys are so sweet. Um, three month old grandson for Claudia. I saw the picture on Facebook, Claudia and Judy's here. Judy just moved south of here now. Happy to see you here, Judy, Stacy, Jackie, Suzette, Arliss is watching. Arliss, I got a card in the mail from you. Yes, and Judy's now from Edgerton, Wisconsin. I was just there recently, Judy. Um, I actually went down there for some training with a couple other Stampin' Up! demonstrators. It's a very quaint little town. I really thought it was pretty. So, And the scenery there is beautiful. Wisconsin is a beautiful state anyways. Hi, Linda. Hi, Lori. Hi, Francie. Welcome. So, whether you're watching me live right now on Facebook or whether you're watching later on YouTube, please share my video. Sharing is caring. I really appreciate it and it does help me out. Connie's on here. Connie, I ate the last of my caramels and they were delightful, except I have one of these left. <laughs> Hi, Lisa. Hi, Christine. Welcome. So yeah. The caramels are now gone. And you guys, it took me a really long time to eat all of these. There were two, four, six, eight sea salt caramels in here. These are Donkers from Marquette, Michigan. Little funny story. So Connie gave these to me. She's a demonstrator from Marquette, Michigan. And she actually went out to, Mar or to Vegas for the Stampin' Up! On Stage event. And she must, I can't remember if she said she had a little treat thing that she was giving away and it was the Donkers um, caramels or chocolates or something. And she handed it to some lady and some lady goes, are these from Marquette, Michigan? I have, I have heard about these. <laughs> Connie said, do you watch Kelly Atchison on Facebook Live? And the lady goes, yeah. So that's where she heard about them from. And I thought that was hysterical. Sharon, I hope you're feeling better. Sharon has been under the weather, you guys, and she can use all your thoughts and prayers. I'm so happy to see you on here. Hi, Nancy. Hi, Kay. Hi, Deborah. Lisa, welcome. Boy, we've got a lot of people coming in. Rena's here. 
Jenny Miller. Jenny, thank you so much for all the wonderful cards that you gave me. I got to meet Jenny. Well, I've met Jenny before, but I got to see her again in um, Lansing, Michigan. So that was nice. Debbie's here from Appleton. Yes, I am back to happy and bubbly. Jody's here. Terry, welcome. Okay, you guys. So we have, um, if you missed my Facebook Live that I did on Wednesday, I wasn't this perky, I might add, but I did have fun. Um, I showed all the stuff that I brought back from the Stampin' Up! event in Lansing, Michigan a couple weeks ago. So um, if you missed that, you can find it on my Facebook page. And yeah, Arla said she could have eaten all those sea salt caramels in less than an hour. I know, it was hard, but I made sure they were so delightful that I made sure that I only had like maybe one every few days. And I would always make sure that it wasn't just like grab something and eat it while I'm doing stuff. I would actually stop and enjoy them because they're so delicious. They really are good. So hi, Marsha. Hi, Rhonda. Welcome. Verna, welcome. So we have a year-end closeout sale that is starting on December 3rd. It runs through January 2nd, and it is going to um, be while supplies last. So, and let me look at it here. So it says... We can save big on a selection of retiring and surplus items, including holiday catalog, catalog items, stamp sets, and past paper pumpkin kits. So this is really exciting. And um, make sure you shop early so you don't miss out. Go look at it at least and see if there's something on there that you have to have. Because again, it is while supplies last. It starts December 3rd, which is Tuesday. So don't miss out on that. You can just go to my online store and it'll be there. And if you don't know where that is, just do a search for Kelly Atchison. If you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, um, do a search for Kelly Atchison, A-C-H-E-S-O-N, and you'll find me because I am all over the internet. <laughs> yeah, we have uh, over 300 people watching right now. That's pretty exciting. Thank you, Linda, for that update. And Lori is in Bushnell, Florida. I'm jealous. It's cold and kind of pretty crummy here. Um, so I am going to show you some of the things that I had from this week. And I think I'm going to have to mirror my, um, hang on, I'm going to mirror my screen. Boom. Funny how that switches right over. So that when I show you stuff, you can see it. Now, how many of you are Paper Pumpkin subscribers? This is the latest kit called Winter Gifts. And oh my gosh, these tags are so stinking adorable. Now, when you subscribe to Paper Pumpkin from me, with me, I send you a PDF file with around 15 different alternate ideas to use your Paper Pumpkin kit for. And this is one of those alternate ideas. So instead of making a tag, well, let me find the, here's the sled. Instead of making a tag, I made this card. So you always get tons of different ideas that you can use with your paper pumpkin kit. And then here's another one. Here's the Christmas tree tag. So pretty, right? And you get the little, there's a stamp set that comes with paper pumpkin. So that's cool. Here's my card that I made. So 15 different alternate ideas when you're a Paper Pumpkin subscriber with me. So that's pretty fun. Because even if the kit comes and you're like, eh, I don't know if I like those cards, which I have to tell you has not been happening at all lately. Um, but you know, everything's not for everybody, right? Um, I give you 15 different ideas to, to use your Paper Pumpkin kit up with. So it's pretty cool. <coughs> And there's going to be just a little bit of coughing tonight. I didn't have a really bad cough while I was sick. Um, but just a, just a tiny bit. Hang on, I have to mute my computer. I am going to go pull up our Facebook Live here. So that I will be able to see um, all the comments. There I am. Yay! And I'm going to make myself bigger because I'm not big enough. <laughs> no, I'm big enough. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> kind of stuck my foot in my mouth, didn't I? Okay. 
I see Kathy Miller, Debbie Foster's on here, Karen Karst, Anne-Marie, I don't know how to say your last name, Anne-Marie, but it's French. I know that, I think. Hmm. Okay, here's some other things that I made. Now, did I show these already? No, I can't show you those. Sorry. Those are part of the tutorial that I just released this morning. I have a brand new tutorial using the... Mercury glass designer acetate, you guys. This stuff is see-through. It's acetate with a pattern on it, and I used it for my card base. Pretty cool, right? So I've got a blue, navy blue one here, and then here is one using the cherry cobbler. And then this is part of my um, collaboration with the Stamping Society. Every first of the month, we have a blog hop so all of the ideas are using this mercury glass designer acetate okay hop along on my blog www.astampabove.com and you will get to see six different ideas using mercury glass designer acetate and they're really cool because these people are talented then oh here's my matching envelope too i use the same paper right pretty cool um and then we have a tutorial you can get for free when you place an order with me. I will give you an exclusive tutorial. It has six more ideas with video tutorials, written instructions, dimensions for each project that will never be released to the public. It's only private. And when you place an order with me, you can get that for free. If you're a demonstrator and you're not going to order with me, you can order it, the tutorial for $7. It's on my blog. So you'll find it there. And um, I have to say that the projects that I just said, oh, I can't show you those, those are part of the private tutorial, and that's why I can't show you. So I'm glad I didn't mess that up. <laughs> that would have been great. And then I had a blog hop with, um, did this go live yet? Yes, this is the um, Totally Techniques on Friday. I'm so confused. Anytime I take a couple days off, things are very fuzzy for me. And you guys that follow me, you know that I'm just kind of a hot mess most of the time. It's okay, right? It works. But here are my tone on tone cards. Whoops, let me, uh, here we go. Tone on tone, and that means you're using the same color on the same color. So I've got petal, whoops, petal pink here, soft sea foam here, pool party here. And then I stamped my envelope flaps to match. And who isn't going to love to get that in the mail, right? That is just so stinking pretty. Here's the last one. And this was the soft sea foam. Super pretty. Now, for those of you that may have trouble putting colors together. Um, oh, Susan says my voice is not matching up with what I'm saying. Um, probably the streaming. And it could be you or it could be me. I'm not sure. Just don't look at my lips. And I don't have a ceiling fan on. So, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's happening there. I hope it gets straightened out. Oh, thank you so much, Jerry. You love me being a hot mess, right? <laughs> when is my grandbaby due? My grandbaby is due April 20th. And I was with the little mama, as I'm calling her now. Um, for the last several days, we had a really good time. She actually went out and walked through the pine trees on my mom's property and kicked out six deer for us. So yeah, she is in great shape and um, she's doing wonderful and she's super excited. And I think her husband is just the cutest thing ever because he has his own Pinterest boards for the baby. <laughs> I love that. So she was showing me she wants to go kind of with a woodsy theme um, in the baby's nursery. So um, I was kind of checking that out today to see what I can find. Oh, thank you guys for telling me that. Oh, you see some flashing, huh? I do not have a TV on in my office. So I don't know if it's maybe my screen from my laptop over here that might be reflecting in, whoops, the window back there. Uh, there we go. <laughs> it's all backwards. But um, yeah, it's probably my laptop maybe. I don't know. I don't have anything flashing, you guys. I would know if I had flashing things. <laughs> um, I did get some cards in the mail this week and I wanted to share those with you. Hang on because Arliss, you're going to be so mad at me. 
but when I opened up your card, my letter opener kind of wrecked it. This is from Arliss. Arliss is one of my team members. Look at how pretty this is. Yeah, and it opens up like this. And when I opened it, Arliss, my letter opener slit this, but it's still gorgeous. And I taped it back together. And isn't that just really nifty? She used the um, nested shapes to make this and it opens up like that and how pretty, right? And she's just wishing me a happy Thanksgiving. So very cool. Oh, the flickering is on the walls. No, I don't have any flickering. Not sure. Hmm. Oh, the whole video is flashing. It's not flashing here. Oh yeah, I see that. Hang on a second. I do see the flashing, you guys. My husband put in new light bulbs for me today. And oh, that they're not flashing though. I don't see them flashing, but I see what you're saying when I look at my screen. So I just turned them off and let's see what happens. Otherwise, I apologize and I will change the light bulbs after we're done tonight because that's never gonna work. I see exactly what you mean. <laughs> so thank you for telling me. It is very weird because they're not doing anything here. They're just on. And I just turned off one of my lamps. Okay. Um, yes, Sharon, please do case Arliss's card. Isn't that cool? I love fun folds and that's what this is. Okay, next, I got a beautiful card from Debbie Peters. Debbie is on my team also, and she was thanking me for the many gifts that I spoiled her with at on stage. So that was really sweet. Thank you. And then I got another card from Jan Fortin. She's also one of my team members. And this was a get well card, which was so, so sweet. Oh, what did Nikki just say? Hang on, let me see what Nikki just said. It might be because you have your laptop on along with your phone. Oh, I've never had that problem before though, Nikki, because I always have my laptop on with my phone. So I think it's probably the new light bulbs. And although they're not doing anything weird here, I'll switch them out and, and check, check into that. So thanks for letting me know that, because that's really strange. <coughs> okay. Um, Jan Fortin, thank you so much. And she said, I hope you're feeling better by the time you get this card. And I am. So, very happy about that. And then I got a beautiful thank you card from Lois Fairherm. Fairherm, I hope I'm saying that right, Lois. Isn't that so pretty? And it's all glittery. I love it. And she's just telling me how great her paper trimmer is. She got the new Stampin' Up! paper trimmer and she loves it. So, are these fluorescent lights, Denise? Yes. Do I have a ceiling fan? Yes, but it's not on. It's not doing its thing. So it happened when I mirrored. Okay, so good. When I unmirror, I should be okay. Very weird. Check the mirroring before changing the bulbs. Okay. Disco stamping, Megan. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, here we have a beautiful Thanksgiving card from Sierra, and I always say Sierra's name wrong, Bruchaud. I hope I got that right, Sierra. Sierra is also one of my team members. Isn't that gorgeous? Absolutely beautiful. Wishing us a happy Thanksgiving. And then another beautiful card from Suzette Lewis. I know Suzette's on here tonight. Wishing us a happy Thanksgiving holiday, and she's very grateful to be part of my team. And Suzette, I'm so grateful to have you on my team. Thank you so much. And then Mary Lynn Weller. Mary Lynn sent me this card last week, and I had it packed up because I was going to do a Facebook Live from my mom's house, but then I got sick. Isn't that cool? These are all our little wooden elements. And she just colored them all different colors. And um, she's grateful for all that I do. And she told me some kind of disturbing news that she has had the financial year from hell. And Mary Lynn, I so understand that. She said between vehicles and dental surgeries and appliances and now the furnace heat pump, I feel so bad for you and I hope things brighten up because it seems like when it rains, it pours, right? I totally get it. 
And then Rose Bell sent me this beautiful card. Isn't it gorgeous? Look at how pretty that is. And she is thanking me for making videos and making her smile. And she says, you treat us discount shoppers like family. And Rose is also part of my team. And I'm so lucky to have you, Rose. Thank you. Yes, yeah, Suzette's card. This one's pretty stunning, too. These are all beautiful cards. But um, Suzette is one of my team members. And let me tell you, when I get mail from Suzette, I'm like, woo, Suzette sent me something beautiful. Yeah, these are all gorgeous, you guys. Thank you so very much. And I will be displaying those. I always display my cards. And you may not see them all because I have them over there. I have them back here have them over there. I kind of like to display them around the room. So, oh, I see. It's still flashing on my screen. This is crazy. And it really does have to be the lights because that's all that I've changed. So I'm going to turn this light back on seeing as it didn't matter that I turned it off. I don't know. It's not very bright anyways. Um, all right. What are we going to do tonight? Oh, I need to give prizes. So we're almost ready to stamp, but first we have to do prizes. And the first prize is for, I was actually in my closet. It's a scary place to be. Because <laughs> I got to kind of bend over and lean in there. And, and one of these times I'm going to wreck my back doing that. But um, I was in my closet and I found some of these. They fell off my little cabinet in there. And these are the chicken wire elements. And I thought, you know what? These were so popular. I'm going to give them away as a prize. And for commenting on my last Facebook Live, is um, our winner is Susan Reed. Susan, I will have these going out in the mail to you tomorrow. Woohoo! And then for sharing the video, I have some of the brightly gleaming foil elements. And Jeannie Thomas from Menasha, Wisconsin, you are the winner of these. And Jeannie, I'm gonna put these in with your order that came while I was gone. I just emailed you to let you know that orders are sorted and ready for pickup. So I'm gonna put this in with your order. And that means I'm gonna to toss it on the floor over here. Hang on. So that I have to walk over it and I won't forget to do that. Do you guys do that? That's what I do with stuff. I put it on the floor in my doorway so that I don't forget to do stuff with it. It's my way. It's my organization. <laughs> That's how I am organized. I know it's really scary, right? And then, oh, this is for Susan. I've got your envelope all ready to go here. And last but not least for placing orders, I drew and Michelle Glassick of Egan, Minnesota, you are going to get this greatest part of Christmas greeting set. And I have to tell you, this is one of my favorite greeting sets. These sentiments and their quirky little fonts are fantastic. So that's going to be going out in the mail to you tomorrow. And hang on, whoops, because I am going to, again, drop these on the floor. There we go. All right. <laughs> that's how Kelly stays organized. I know it's a little bit scary, but it's okay. So tonight... I have to tell you, I was a little disappointed. Yeah, the door handle. I hang stuff on the door handle too, so I totally get that. I was a little disappointed because the projects that I had slated for the night that I got sick um, actually used the brightly gleaming designer series paper, and that's no longer available. And so I was going to rush home today and redo all of my projects, and I thought, you know what? I am not going to do that because what I have to show you, a lot of you probably have the paper already, so you'll appreciate this. But if you don't have this paper, you can't get it, but you certainly can get Let It Snow Designer Series paper. That was back ordered, I think, until December 2nd, so that'll be available, okay? And then also still available from the holiday catalog is the Wrapped in Plaid. Yeah, that's what this is. I was like, is that really what it's called? Yes, Wrapped in Plaid designer series paper and any of these papers will work with the projects that I'm going to show you tonight. So I decided not to rework things. Um, yeah, because you guys are smart. <laughs> Linda says she's got the paper, but she's hoarding it. You use that paper, Linda. <laughs> I know it's really beautiful, right? Okay. So I have 
some cute little projects to show you tonight. And now, coming into December, you know it's December already. How did that even happen, right? I don't even know. But coming into December, I like to really start making gift ideas. That's what I focus on. So I, while I still make, I'm still making cards, I'm also figuring out ways to use all these products that I have invested my money in to make gifts for my friends and family. And especially older people, okay? Like moms and grandmas, even grandpas, dads. Um, if your dad is the kind who likes to thank people for stuff, a set of thank you cards with maybe a masculine feel. Um, all of these things are needed. Another really good thing to make for, like my mom, is um, get well cards and sympathy cards. Because at their age, of course, they're having to use more sympathy cards and, well, more get well cards too. And so that's just really helpful they don't have to run to the store. So if you have somebody who's kind of tricky to buy for, like they have everything, they don't need anything, make them some cards that they can use. Thank you cards, just a few. Get well cards and sympathy cards for our older friends and family. They love it, right? Okay, now when I get done making these things for you, I have a ton of cards using the bundle to show you. So make sure you hang around for that. I don't know why I have silver paper in here, but I don't think I need it. Um, I'm getting my bin unloaded here so we can start stamping and pray for me that I don't forget how to do this because it's been so, it seems like so long since I actually made these projects. So it's probably going to be a little bit of a mess, but we'll get through it. And know that when I'm done with this Facebook Live, when I say goodnight to you guys, I will post, I, I have my blog post, I think it's all ready to roll with photographs, still photos, and um, dimensions and all the things so you can recreate these projects at home. Kay says that she did cards for stocking stuffers last year. I know, right? It's a perfect idea. And what I'm going to show you tonight is something that I plan on making for my family. Now, with the brothers and sisters, we don't exchange gifts, okay? but I always like to kind of make them a little something and this is my way to do it and something they can't buy at the store. So, there, hmm. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna flip the camera around now, you guys, so that we can get started and let me make sure, hang on just a second, I wanna make sure that I'm, my computer's working good. All right, if close your eyes if you get motion sickness, there's no throwing up on stamping night. It's just a rule that I have. So, <laughs> Amy says she makes a set of cards for her mother-in-law every year. I usually take um, a box and put 70 cards and envelopes in it and give it to my mom for all kinds of holidays, birthday, Christmas, the whole deal. She loves it, and she sends out tons of cards. So, And I usually give her a book of stamps, too, So, or a couple, maybe more than that. Yeah. Okay, close your eyes. I don't want anybody throwing up. And let me get this out of the light. Here we go. I'm going to have to unmirror my screen, so hang tight. There we go. Everything looks good. Get you on here straight. Okay. Let me take a drink. What are you guys drinking tonight? I have my little black. What is this? This is a thermal flask. I love it. My husband just bought a couple more of them from um, Costco, actually. For Christmas gifts so oh, I don't like that when my um, my desk lights sh make a shiny spot on the stamps hang on I'm gonna put my cord up here so you're gonna wiggle a little bit there we go all right I think we're ready to roll now I'm gonna bring out my note cards and envelopes you get a pack of 20 of these I think they're like six dollars and fifty cents I don't know they're really inexpensive but you get all these little envelopes okay and you get a whole thing of note cards and they're already scored so that's super cool now I noticed that every once in a while when you fold these this is just a tiny bit off so you want to push it together to make it so that it's not off anymore and give it a good burnish with your bone folder and you can make it be straight so that's a plus oh hang on I'm having a little hot flash yeah things like that happen <laughs> 
Okay, I'm gonna try to, okay, so the flashing stopped. Maybe it's something with Facebook tonight, you guys. I noticed that I'm crooked, so hang on. I don't like it when my phone is crooked. That looks better. Um, okay, where's my pack of stuff that I need to deal with here? Here we go. Now, like I said, I'm using the Brightly Gleaming Designer Series paper. This was beautiful paper. You can't get it anymore. I'm sorry. You know, things happen and whatever, right? I'm so over it. <laughs> it can be quite frustrating, as most of you know, when things run out a little early. Hang on, I'm dropping things. But I also have to say that I am happy for my company that they are doing so well because we really are doing fantastic. All right, first and foremost, here's what I'm going to do. I am using the Cup of Christmas bundle tonight. We have the Cup of Cheer dies. These are fantastic. And again, I have a gazillion cards to show you when we're done making the projects. But this is a very cool little bundle called Cup of Christmas. You get the stamp set and the dies. When you buy them together, you get them for 10% off. Make sure that when you're placing your orders, you're using this monthly host code right here. You can find that on my blog in the right-hand column anytime. It's always there. Okay, I paired that up with, I just needed a greeting. And so I pulled out my Flourishing Phrases stamp set, and I'm going to use that just a note, Okay. So that's what I decided to grab. And we have a layer of pretty peacock. Now this is three and a quarter by four and three quarters. And then I have whisper white that's three by four and a half. And these are just gonna layer on the front of our card. I'm also going to take a scrap of our copper foil sheets, and these have been unorderable. They are going to be in the warehouse on Tuesday. I'm excited about that. Now, for those of you that ordered my um, Brightly Gleaming kit, that paper's coming in on Tuesday. I will be ordering it second day air. I should have it by Thursday. I should be able to get all your packets out of here on Friday. So I just want you to know that. And if anybody missed out on getting the Brightly Gleaming kit, I have two left. So if you email me, kelly at stampabove.com and tell me you would like the kit, I will PayPal invoice you. They're $45. And um, you will be, like I said, I only have two left. So the first two people to email me can have the kit. I just, yeah, that's how I'm going to have to do it because I, I can't put a PayPal button out there for a kit. Um, so I'm going to be die cutting this little leafy sprig thing. And again, this is from the Cup of Cheer dies. It's one of the elements in here. I'm going to be die cutting that. And also I have a scrap of the Brightly Gleaming. And I am going to die cut one of these cups out of that. So we're going to have our magic. There's our cup. And here's our pretty little sprig. And isn't that just, it's really delightful, right? <laughs> yeah. So the first thing we're going to do is take our pretty peacock ink here. Oops. Um, I think that's going to be a disaster. Hang on. Grab a baby wipe because I just dipped my little container. People ask me all the time, where do these containers come from? These were our old wooden stamps, and all I do is it, there, had, there was a lid, and I cut it off, and I put a piece of black cardstock in the bottom. So you can't actually get these anymore. They're old stamp cases. Okay, I'm going to see what I'm doing. Hang on. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Just a note. Okay, we are going to do this one sideways, and I'm going to stamp just a note and I'm just going to try this out of my scrap paper so I kind of know what I'm doing here. I'm going to stand up. Oh and I got it straight. I'm like oh I don't think I can get it straight but I did. Okay there's just a note and then I'm going to take a tiny bit of tape. Our cup is going to go right over here. Our little sprig is going to go right here, so I'm just going to take a little bit of tape, 
tape that down. It's the easiest way to do it, right? Now, if you wanted to, you could, let me show you another way to do this. I know I've got a lot of new people watching me, so I'll just leave that tape there because it's not gonna hurt anything. You could take one of our silicone mats and somebody's asking me if I have any of the Let It Snow kits left. I do not. I actually um, had to cut another one last week because somebody didn't get theirs. I don't know what happened to it, but it was a whole thing. And I felt terrible. Okay, I just put a little bit of glue on the silicone craft mat. And I've got a sponge here with a little clip on it. And if you want to, you can add glue to these intricate little pieces just like that. And I'm just going to set this down on here and this will be perfectly glued to your layer. Isn't that cool? Yeah. And then I'm going to bring in my cup and where'd my glue bottle go? Right here. And I put the lid on it. That's crazy. Hi Mary Lynn Cox. I'm glad to see you here tonight. Here comes our little cup. And I've just got this little cup with some of those copper sprigs coming out. Isn't that cute? Super simple. And I wanted to keep this simple because I plan on making a bunch of these. And again, my thought is I'm going to give this to my these to my friends and family as a gift. These are all going to be thank you notes. So they will have thank yous to give to people for all their Christmas presents. And just by putting that little layer of peacock under there, you've really dressed up this note card, right? And then with my envelope, let me get this closed. With my envelope, I am going to take and I'm going to add a little bit of glue here all around the, this is the flap. And I'm going to take this piece. And by the way, this piece was, I don't know, two and a half inches. Let me, let me measure it for you. Two inches by six. It's just a little slice of designer series paper. There we go. And now we're going to bring in our paper snips. And this is how you just bring, take your envelopes from nah to holy cow, that's really pretty, right? Yeah, super simple way to do this. And you know what? This is a great thing to do. Turn on the Hallmark Channel, watch some Christmas movies, and sit down and glue and cut all your envelope flaps because you can sit right in front of the TV and do that. Isn't that so, so pretty? So here we have our little note card and our matching envelope. And then I've got, I've already got several of these made. So I've got a set of four here, you guys. So we've got the ones that go this way. And then I also made some with the thank you very much, again, from the Flourishing Phrases. This is a two stamp case set. Thank you so very much. I've got two cards like that. So I'm actually gonna have four cards that are go, will go into a little container. And I'm gonna show you now how to make a container. All right, I'm just gonna, let me get this out of the way. Set that over there, let's get rid of that. Get rid of this. Then, where did my stuff go for the container? Oh, I think it's right here. Yep, okay. Here comes all my bits and pieces. Throw that in there. Put my cheat sheet up there so I know what to tell you. And here we go. So we've got two pieces of pretty peacock. One is a little bit smaller than the other one. So let me see which is which. This is the box and this is three and three quarters by 10. And again, I'll give you all of these dimensions above the video when we're done. That's the outside, nope, that's the box, and this is the outside, and this piece is three and three quarters by 10. Nope, sorry, oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so sorry. 
three and a half by nine and a half. We'll get through this, don't worry. Now, I'm gonna grab my paper cutter, my paper trimmer, and the box is this one. We're gonna score on the long side at five and a quarter and six. And what that means is you're gonna put the long side of this piece up against the back of your paper trimmer. We're gonna score at five and a quarter and six. So, here we go. Five and a quarter and six. All right, so we've got a score line there and a score line there. So this is what it's gonna look like, okay? And this is the piece that is three and three quarters by 10. Now the other piece, this is the outside layer. This one is three and a half by nine and a half. We're gonna score at three and three quarters four and a half, eight and a quarter, and nine. All right, here's what we have. Score, 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 score. So this one looks like this. Yeah. Okay. Um, then, that was on the long side we, we scored. Now on the short side, which is this side, we're gonna score at three quarters. There we go, and that's why I was like looking at it going, hmm, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. But I do, don't worry. All right, put that away. And we're gonna do a little bit of cutting. So you're gonna cut up to that short side score line, just like this. And I always like to notch out my tabs. So just cut a little wedge of pie out of them. Did you guys have pumpkin pie for Thanksgiving? So at my mom's house, we had pumpkin pie, which I love. And then my sister brought pecan pie and chocolate chiffon pie or something like that. I didn't eat any of that. I ate the pumpkin. But it was delightful. My mom made it. And I asked her, I said, Mom, did you make your own crust? And she goes, I sure did. I pulled it right out of that Pillsbury package. <laughs> she goes, why would you mess with crust when they make such a good crust? And I'm like, well, that's true. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Okay. Linda Gilbert, thank you so much. Linda says she loves my card in box. Okay, so this is what we have, all right? And then we are going to take this and put it together. And this is how it goes. It's just a little box, just like that. This seems really long over here. Let me take a look at this. Yeah, I think I probably screwed something up. Yep, <laughs> I used the wrong piece, you guys. So I'm gonna have to recut this. Oh, this is gonna be stupid. Hang on, let me think about this for a minute. <laughs> I knew I jacked something up. Oh yeah, so we got three and three quarters across the front here. Oh, that's right. This piece is wrong. We need it to be three and three quarters. Oh, isn't that interesting? Okay, so I need to cut a new one of these. Don't worry. We're going to get through this. I happen to have lots of pretty peacock. So we're gonna be we're gonna be fine. I don't know why I had the outside at three and a half, but it should also be three and three quarters. I'm so sorry, you guys. Three and three quarters by make sure this fits right. Yep, that's right. Nine and a half. So three and three quarters by nine and a half. I'll adjust my measurements that are on my blog post already too. Oh, for the Pete's sakes. 
Mm. Oh, Lord, hang on. I'm confused. Three and three quarters by ten. I was cutting the same one again. All right, so hang tight. I'm going to go over these measurements one more time. This is the outside flap, and this is three and three quarters by ten, and I'm going to score it at five and a quarter and six. Five and a quarter and six. Sorry. So we've got this like this. This is our little box. Yep, that's it. Okay. All right, we're good. We get rid of this. So we made our little box. I'm going to use tear and tape to put my little box together. I always like to use tear and tape so that it doesn't fall apart because that's embarrassing. I don't want to give this as a gift and have my receiver touch it and have it all fall apart, right? Because that would be horrible. Let me grab my take your pick tool to pull this off. And we're going to push that together just like that. So we have created a box here. And then you can just push all these tabs in. And I'm going to grab some more tear and tape. You could use liquid glue here. That would be fine. This usually isn't something that would pop apart on the bottom here. Kind of cut this off just a little bit. There we go. Okay. Now you want to square this up good before you push it down. Okay, so now we've got this little box here. And then this piece of designer series paper, this is two and a half by six and a half, and that's correct. I didn't mess that up, so yeah. All I did was kind of center this on here. I'm just gonna kind of center this on here. I'm just gonna leave a little bit down here at the bottom. See what I'm talking about? There's a little gap right there. And I am just going to fold this around the edges. Now, you could figure out the scoring dimensions for this if you wanted to, but I think we've already had enough problems tonight. <laughs> I kind of want to push my luck. So we're just going to do it the easy way. And you're going to pull the paper off and give it a good, firm fold with your fingernails or your bone folder. If you don't have good fingernails, you can do that. But that's, this is what I'm doing because this is just easy, right? Okay, here we go. This is just going to decorate the bottom of our box. So I am going to take some glue and put it just on the front part here. Get this positioned. There we go. And now you can come in and put some glue on the outside edges of this designer paper. And it just wraps around the back of the box a little bit. This is just easy. I didn't need any funky dimensions or anything like that. It just wraps around nicely. Okay, and then we're going to bring in, where's that punch? Here is our detailed trio punch. And I wanted to round See how this is a little bit shorter? Whoops, hang on, oh, sorry. This is a little bit shorter. This is our front, so we're gonna round those corners right there. And I love this punch because it does three different things. So yeah, it's a good little punch, detailed trio punch. If you don't have one, you need one. <laughs> and then we're going to bring in our little box here and again I'm going to use some tear and tape on the back of my box here we go oops I got it a little long here let me get that cut off 
I don't want that sticking over the edge there. There we go. <laughs> Linda said, nice recovery. <laughs> Thank you so much, Linda. It's kind of funny when weird things like that happen to me, like today when we were driving home, um, the weather was terrible. And at, there was a couple points where I kind of started getting sucked over to the side in the slushy snow. And when that happens to me, I like immediately have a hot flash. So usually when I mess up like this, I start having a hot flash and then I get more flustered. But tonight I didn't. So thank you so much for your kindness. I appreciate it. Okay, now I'm just going to press this up. I'm, I'm, I'm standing it up so I can make sure that I get it lined up properly on the back. And I'm going to push that down in there really good. Okay. Here is our little box. Isn't this super cute? Now I'm going to use my bone folder to burnish those edges. I should have done this to begin with, but you know, I messed things up and I got a little flustered. Um, then we've got a scrap here of Whisper White. I'm going to bring that pretty peacock ink back in and stamp just a note. I've got my tailored tag punch. And then I've got a piece of the um, copper foil. I'm gonna punch that out. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna cut it right down the middle there. And then we're going to add this as a layer to our stamped layer. I'm putting glue on the top and the bottom here. And I'm just gonna leave a little margin so you can see that, whoops, did you guys see what I just did? I just glued it to my back. <laughs> yeah, some days are better than others. I knew I put glue on there. There we go. Isn't that cool? That's just a great way to give it a nice little border, have that copper sticking out. Hang on, I gotta get a drink. <laughs> Joanne says she wishes her family didn't expect dinner on Sunday night, but at least I got to see the last half. Well, you know what, Joanne? You could make some a whole bunch of food on Saturday and you could have just leftovers on Sunday. Just saying. <laughs> no, you do what's good for you. Okay, I'm going to bring in some dimensionals now. And as long as we're using copper, you use whatever ribbon matches your designer paper, right? But as long as we're using copper, I brought in my copper trim. And I am going to bring that around here because we're going to tie this around our little box. I don't know how much I need. I'm just going to take a whole bunch here. And I'm going to tie this in a bow over on the side. I'm going to make sure I'm getting this lined up decent so that... Okay, so this trim is really nice and thin. So what I'm actually going to do here is tie a knot. And you're like, oh, Kelly, hang on, I'll show you what I did. And then I'm going to tie a bow because now I don't have to worry about it coming loose, right? And because this ribbon isn't real bulky, you can do that with it. If you had a bulkier ribbon, not such a good idea. Let's see if Kelly can tie a bow tonight. This stuff's kind of slippery. There we go. Okay, so let me make this look nice. We're going to futz around with it. There's your redneck word of the day. <laughs> futz around with the ribbon. Okay. Then, because I don't want my ribbon moving around, I'm going to bring in a couple mini glue dots. So I've got my take your pick tool, and I'm going to take a glue dot, and I'm going to put it, I'm pushing the edge down here, and I'm going to put it right underneath that copper trim and stick it right on the side so my glue dot is right under there. 
I'm going to do the same thing on this side. And if you use thinner ribbon, you may need to kind of, you know, roll it up a little bit, your mini glue dot, so it doesn't stick out, because you don't want it sticking out. That's not attractive at all. And I'm kind of pulling it up, whoops, maybe, and putting it right on that mini glue dot. Okay, so that's going to help your ribbon stay in place. And then we're going to take this, and we're going to put dimensionals on the back of it. We're going to do a dimensional there and a dimensional there. You don't want any dimensionals at the bottom, you guys. And I'll show you why in just a second. We're going to add this now. Yeah. Add this right over top. Because you want your people to be able to open this, okay? So if you put dimensionals at the bottom of this, it would be stuck on there. And you may figure out a different way to make your box close, whatever works for you, but this is what I came up with. Hang on a second, let me get that back in there. Oh, for Pete's sakes. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so here is our little box, and I will give you the right dimensions, okay? So don't worry about that. And I do have written down that the ribbon is about 10 inches, so 10 inches of ribbon will do really well. Here's our little box, and then you can make just as many cards as you want to fit in that box. I made four cards with four envelopes, and there we go. Here's our cute little gift set, and my friends and family are going to love this. What do you guys think? Yeah. Carol, if you didn't get any of this designer paper, don't worry. We have this gorgeous winter paper. This will be so, so cute. The Let It Snow is available. I think I just said on the third, it'll be back in the warehouse. You can order some of this. Also, just as cool um, is the pla wrapped in plaid designer series paper. This would make great note cards also because they're gonna have a winter theme, which is perfect, right? So yeah, super, super cute little box. Perfect for your gift giving. Make sure you're giving those friends and family something homemade for Christmas. I just love to give homemade gifts. And as long as I'm talking about that, here, let me get some of this stuff out of the way. As long as I'm talking about that, um, my Anna, hang on. My Anna told me this year, she goes, um, all she wants for Christmas is some drapes for her office, which I already got her, and one of my homemade framed home decor things. And this is like an example. Haley actually made this one for me. This was our trip to uh, Hawaii. I took her to Hawaii with me. Life doesn't have to be perfect to be wonderful. She made this beautiful rose. Here's a picture of me with her dad. I love to make these types of things for gifts and I usually do kind of a Christmassy themed one. And I will take a couple elements, instead of putting little elements in each one, I'll put photographs, black and white photographs in them because I think they're just so pretty. And my kids and my family in general just loves these. So Anna requested all she wanted for Christmas was those curtains for her office and some type of home decor item that I make because those are her favorite things to decorate for the holidays with. So, uh, and I go out on Facebook and I find some photos off Facebook of her kids and maybe her and her husband and I'll put some photos in along with the cute little Christmassy elements. She loves these, you guys. These are super simple to make too, so. Yeah, maybe I'll maybe my Facebook Live um, in a week or two will be making that for you guys. We'll see. Let me hang this back up. I keep that hung in my office. Okay, who's ready for what's next? What time is it? It's eight o'clock. Okay, I got time. I don't want to keep you guys too late. I don't want anybody getting divorced because they're watching Kelly Live too much. That's just not cool. Okay. 
Now, where did that red thing go? Hang on, I'm losing. Here we go. Now, I think you guys remember, things are falling. One of my um, team members, Bonnie, made this cute little chapstick holder, right? And this is again made with the cup of Christmas and the cup of cheer dies. Let me put this away before I lose it. We know how that happens. It's heartbreaking when you lose a die, right? Okay, so I thought I'd show you how to make this cute little chapstick holder. And I decided to make it to match my um, little note card box. So I have everything cut and die cut here. Mm. Oh, this is my little piece I need to score. I'm gonna bring my paper trimmer back in here. By the way, if anybody needs a new paper trimmer, this one from Stampin' Up is super nice. I'm really impressed with it. I'm still impressed with it. The blades are super sharp. It scores good. It goes out to 17 inches. It's fabulous. So what I have here is a piece of pretty peacock. It is three and an eighth by three and an eighth. And I'm gonna score this at five eighths, one and a quarter. And again, all these dimensions will be on my blog and above the video when we're done. I'll put them in. One and seven eighths and two and a half. And then you're gonna turn it because we need a 5 eighths inch score on the bottom. Okay, there we go. I am going to grab my snips and we're going to cut, 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 and cut, just like that. So let's get our bone folder back in here. Now, if you needed something a little bigger, like for maybe a tube of lip gloss, I know last year um, for Christmas I bought Haley, well, I don't think it was for Christmas, maybe it was in the spring, some, some lip gloss tubes, and I made little boxes like this, so they were really cute. Okay, so this is, this is what you got. You have this little box, and I am just going to use a little glue here. Oops glue this together and you can leave it laid flat fold it over just like that hang on I got just a little bit of glue running over here and then we're going to take the bottom and just add glue to each one of these little tabby things just like that and just like that, <laughs> lots of glue, and just like that. And we've just got this little square, right? Now, I took the um, little cups and die cut both of those. And then I also took this die right here, this is a pretty little poinsettia, and I die cut that on the copper foil paper. And then I did the candy cane in copper and pretty peacock. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue on this candy cane. Sharon Kersey is asking for a four-hour Facebook Live in the future. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, I, um, I don't know if my voice would hold out that long, quite frankly. <laughs> that could be a little dangerous. Okay, here we go. I am going to add a little bit of glue right here. And I'm just gonna have this stick up just a little bit. And isn't that cute? Look at that, that copper under there. That is super cute. And then we're gonna get out our little sponge again with our glue on our silicone craft sheet. 
picking up that glue. Now you can rinse the sponge out and reuse it. I'm lazy, so I don't. <laughs> I told you guys, I'm kind of a lazy stamper, right? And then we're gonna put this right on here. There we go. Look at how cute that is. That's so elegant, right? Okay, next I'm going to add some glue on the front of my little chapstick holder. I kind of want to make sure this is straight, so I'm going to stand it up here, get it in the center of my cup. You could also use tear and tape if you wanted to. I'm just using glue because it's easy and quick and it will hold up. And then we're just going to put this cup on the back. And again, I'm going to stand it up, make sure my cups are straight. Everything looks good here. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Hang on, I'm getting my chapstick. Here comes the little tube of chapstick right in there. Okay, so now I have a little gift set, right? Thank you, Bonnie, for this really super cute idea. Yeah, she she had my name on there with the little star. Isn't that cute? And then the first one that I made, I used white. So I've got copper with the peacock or white with the peacock. Oh, and Trudy says you can put the sponge in a Ziploc bag. And yes, you certainly can. So that's a really good idea, too. Okay. You guys want to see one more little item? Are you up for one more? Hang on, I had a little bit of glue there. Okay. One more item. Here we go. So, again, just following along with all the same pattern here tonight. You can use any designer series paper that you want. I am going to, uh, let me look at this. Oh, I didn't write what I was supposed to score it at. Hang on. A little bit of a cluster here because I forgot to write something down. Where's my, get my ruler out. I've got one and three quarters, three, one and three quarters, three inches, and one and three quarters, three inches, and four and a half. Okay, let me write that down. One and three quarters, three inches, and four and a half. One and three quarters, three inches, and four and one half. Okay, sorry. Forgot to write down my... Oh. I don't know. We'll see. This may be a cluster, too. <laughs> okay, I have a piece of copper foil. This is two inches by six. And we are going to score this at one and three quarters three inches, and four and a half. Okay, I'm just gonna fold down those score lines. There we go. And three and an eighth by two inches, I don't know what that means. All right, I have some directions written down that aren't making sense to me, so I know you'll find that completely shocking, but <laughs> probably not, right? Okay, then I am going to take this end, and this is where we scored at um, we started scoring here at one and three quarters, and then three and four and a half. So the other end that's left over here, we're going to punch with the delightful tag topper punch. Make sure you push it all the way in, and that's what we have. And now I'm going to take the designer series paper, 
And by the way, this piece is three and an eighth by two. And I'm going to run this in to the tag topper punch also. This is going to get glued together. Oh, I see it's just a little bit long here. I need to cut that off just a smidge. So I'm just going to fold this over and cut this little piece off. I don't know what I did wrong, but something. Okay. Here we go. Now I'm going to lay this on here and fold on that score line. And now I'm going to glue this to my copper. Just like this. It's going to fit right on there perfectly. Ooh, I hear Steve is back. He just took Molly home. Every once in a while she calls and asks to come over. She likes to come over and do crafts. <laughs> it's pretty cute. Okay, and then where is my, here it is, I'm going to, this is going to be a little candy holder, so it's kind of like a little purse candy holder, and I'm going to, whoops, put a little hole right here, so I'm using my piercing mat here to pop a little hole. Then I've got our metallic brads. This is like a blast from the past, right? Metallic brads. There's copper ones in here. Let me see if I can find one. There's big ones and little ones, and I'm looking for a little one. I just found that that worked better with this project. So I'm going to put a little copper brad in here. Now here's the deal. You need this to stay popped up a little bit, so I'm just going to set my scissors in here so that I don't push it all the way down on the paper. And then I'm going to open it up. Maybe. There we go. So my scissors are keeping it popped up just a little bit so that when we close it, it's like a little fastener. Look at how cute that is. What do you guys think? Pretty neat, right? Okay, hang on, let me get this back open. There we go. Okay, now, we have to do a few more things here. I've got some one by three pieces of our designer series paper and some of these fabulous Hershey Nuggets. Now these are copper colored because they are toffee flavored. So if you look for those at your Walgreens or Walmart or wherever you happen to go, You'll find them. They're the toffee flavored ones and they really go along with all this copper stuff. So I'm going to use a little bit of tear and tape on these one by three inch pieces. Thank you, Mary Olson. Mary says beautiful designer series paper. I know it is the bomb, isn't it? And we're going to, I just like to kind of set these in the center like this. And now I'm going to pull it just as tight as I can. There we go. Look at, isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. And then we're going to do the other piece. And again, I just kind of center it by eyeballing it. Oops. There we go. There's our second piece of candy. Now, I like to just run a couple strips of tear and tape in here to hold the candies in place. And yep, somebody's going to destroy this a little bit to get the candy out, but that's okay because this is just a tiny little treat holder. We're going to take this candy and we're going to put them together like this and set them right in the middle of our little candy purse. Just like that. Isn't that fun? Okay, last but not least, I really do want this to look like a purse. So I have itty bitty little slivers of the designer series paper and pretty peacock. I'm just going to glue those together 
So I'm putting a little bit of glue right down the middle of this like quarter inch piece of Pretty Peacock and putting the designer series paper. Now, of course, this is kind of a putsy little thing, right? But it's super cute and it's going to go along with my whole little gift idea. Okay, trim this off a little bit. And, oh, I know, I forgot to, uh, what did I do here? Oh, I was supposed to score this again. Doggone it. One and a quarter, one and a half. Well, hmm. I'm going to do that right now. Hang on. I just scored it a little bit right here because I want my little purse handle to be in there. So this is what we have now. You guys can handle that, right? I'll put it in the directions. I forgot that score line. And now I'm going to add this to the top of my purse. I'm going to buckle it a little bit like that. Just a little bit. It doesn't need to be real long. See what I've done here? And here we go with some glue. Now, I'm not sure if the glue is going to stick really good. I might have to put some tear tape in there, but my other one stuck pretty good. My sample that I made, so just sticking it right in here. And then we're going to push it over to the other side. Just like that. Pinch it in there. Oh, Rose is asking what designer series paper is this? This is actually the Brightly Gleaming and it is out of stock. We can't get it anymore. But all of these projects that I'm showing tonight, Rose, you can use any designer series paper with. They're, they're all gonna look just adorable. And here comes our little purse. Let me see if I can get this latched up again. I got glue on my fingers, you guys, so it's getting a little sticky. Here we go. Oh my lord. <laughs> Here's my sample that I made, which turned out better, and I will give you the right directions for it. The one that I just showed you is kind of like, meh, this one got a little smashed. But look at how cute that is. This cute little purse with those two little candies in it. They are adorable. I don't know. I did something wrong to this one. I scored it wrong, I think. But I'll give you, I have all my directions right here. I'll give you the right directions. You'll at least be able to see how to make it. But isn't that sweet? So now we have, whoops, hang on. We have this cute little purse, a little chapstick container, and a set of note cards with our notes and envelopes and a little box to put them in. Cool, right? Yeah, I thought so too. Thank you, Nancy. Nancy said that little purse is so cute. Thank you so much, I really appreciate that. I don't know, I did something wrong to this one. I think because I forgot to score that part up there. See how my purse kind of has, it, there's a score line here, so it's a little flat on the top. I forgot to do that part. And that's what happens when I make things too far ahead of time. I just kind of am a mess, but we'll get it, right? All right, you guys. That concludes our Facebook Live for tonight. I think I have something really fun in store for you next week. Again, um, I like to concentrate on you know, little treat favors, stocking stuffers, things like that for the holidays because I think most of you have already made your Christmas cards or you have an idea that you already are thinking about using, right? So um, if you watched my Facebook Live last Wednesday, I got a cute little brownie mix um, from Becky Miltenberger and I'm going to be showing you how to make that for some great stocking stuffers or just little gifts that you can give out to people that go the extra mile for you. Your bank teller, your 
um, the clerk at the store that you always go to. Like I always go over to Family Dollar and I know the ladies that work there because I'm in and out of there all the time. I have my favorite bartender at the Mexican restaurant, Solea. <laughs> And, um, you know, he would love a gift. I don't, I don't think I'd give him, you know, like a little purse with candy in it, but I would certainly maybe give him some type of a little treat holder and some treats. So, yeah. Um, just gift ideas that you can make with your paper crafting. You already have all these things, so why not use it? I, I think you definitely should. And um, I think we'll be concentrating on that. I don't know what else. If you guys have any ideas of stuff that you would like to see me make, let me know. I always love to um, take your suggestions. I would be happy to, you know, not, I don't do all of them, of course. But um, if you throw something at me that I'm like, oh, yeah, I've had people send me links to things. They're like, can you show me how to make this? Well, then I go do some investigating and figure out how to make it. And yeah, I can show you how to make it. So don't forget, if you're placing an order with me, I always appreciate your orders. You want to um, go over to my blog, www.estampabove.com. Use this host code. You'll always find that in the right-hand column. All of my online classes are on my um, the right hand column of my blog you can check those out and if you would like to become a member of my team as a discount shopper or a um, business builder I love both I'll take both of them on now I said I was going to show you guys a gazillion cards using the cup of Christmas bundle right I almost forgot to do that, so I'm glad that I am, yeah, <laughs> looking at my notes. So if you'll remember a couple weeks ago, I made this one. This was super cute. This, this uses that Let It Snow designer series paper. So this is a cute and cute little gift card holder. There's a little pocket here. You can find this on my blog, www.estampabove.com. You can go there and just scroll down until you find this card and you'll find a video tutorial on how to make it. This uses, these all use the cup of Christmas. Look at this. How fun is this one? Whoops, hang on. I just bent it. Look at that. This is also a gift card holder. Yeah, pretty cool, huh? And this uses the wrapped in plaid designer series paper. Here is another one, and this is not Christmas themed at all, and I love doing stuff like that where it's a Christmas set, because it's a cup of Christmas, obviously, but this has nothing to do with Christmas. And look how they used the candy cane that we used here, the candy cane, and turned it upside down for a straw. Pretty cool, right? Then, let's see, we've got Julie, the 10 inch piece was just pretty peacock cardstock. The DSP doesn't need to be that long. That is correct. You are correct. And here is one using our um, Come Together designer series paper. Isn't that cool? And then she used the puff paint to put a little bit of um, foam on the top of the cocoa. Here comes another one. This is very pretty. Some very interesting colors, right? I love that little poinsettia that's in there. Here comes another one. I thought this was just adorable. And another one. Very pretty. I love the ivy. Oh, and this one's gold embossed, and that uses the um, wrapped in plaid designer series paper. Here comes that let it snow paper. Look how fun that is. Is this a, oh, this is a little gift card holder too. There's a little pocket here. These are all swap cards, by the way, that I got from various people. And I think this is also like a gift card holder. You could attach this to the gift card and then it would pull out. I think that's what, I think Candy made this one. I think that's my friend Candy, what she intended there. So this is a little pocket that you can put your gift card in. Super cute, right? 
here's another one. These are our red rhinestones. Love that. And then we've got the red glimmer with the wrapped in plaid. Again, designer series paper. Here's another one. This one's really pretty. Oh, we've got a candy cane here that I don't think that's supposed to be in here. <laughs> Here comes a birthday card in our Highland Heather, and isn't that pretty? And another one here. Oh, and I love this one. Look at that. The striped designer series paper. This is the other paper I think that we've run out of is the um, Feels Like Frost. This one's really cute. This designer series paper is from the one with the Santa Claus in it. I can't remember what it's called, but that's another one of our designer series papers. Look at this one. This is, enough, this is a gift card holder. We've got a gift card slot right there. Isn't this pretty? Yeah. And this is the Let It Snow designer series paper again. Maybe this candy cane can go right in there. <laughs> Here's another one. Love the glimmer paper on here. Very pretty. Here's a little cocoa pouch. Look at that. She put a photocopy of the cocoa in there. This is a neat little idea. Great stocking stuffer. And last but not least, this is so pretty, isn't it? Yeah, I love this card too. Okay, I also have a couple more cards that I made with this bundle that maybe I'll share those next week um, on my Facebook Live. I will be back again at 7 p.m. Central Time on Sunday evening. So make sure you... Um, Come back and join me again. And again, if you're if you're watching on Facebook live or later or YouTube later, please share my video. Sharing is caring. That really helps me out. I appreciate it. And make sure you give me a thumbs up or hit that like button. That's also very helpful. And if you'd like to place an order, you're going to find all the ordering information either on Facebook above my video or on YouTube below my video. There's a little description there and you can click on see more and you're going to find links to my store, links to Paper Pumpkin, um, links to my blog for this particular post so you can see all of my dimensions. I'm going to be sharing those with still photos on my blog. So I hope you'll go check that out. Thank you guys so much once again for joining me. It warms my heart to see how many people are tuning in to me on Sunday nights. Um, I just can't even tell you how much I appreciate it. Have yourselves a wonderful week. What do I have going on this week? Um, Color Fusers Blog Hop is tomorrow. So I've got a blog hop going live tomorrow morning. And we are using Seaside Spray, Silver, and Blueberry Bushel. You guys are going to love the cards that I made. So make sure I use the um, Mercury Glass Designer Acetate again for something totally different. I think you're really going to like it. Make sure you tune into my blog right here so you can see that. Have yourselves a wonderful week. Bye-bye.